I want to take you to Brookdale Elementary, where they're working hard to make sure that students are opening up those books and opening up their imaginations. And we want to introduce you to two third grade students at Brookdale who, after struggling with reading themselves, decided that they wanted to help their fellow students. So Courtney Jacobazzi introduces us to these students who are now the teachers. The stories of Ariana Davis and Micaiah Barnes did not always include a love for literacy. When I first started reading to my mama, I was struggling. It was difficult for me to read books. That was in kindergarten. A few chapters later, as third graders, their passion for words goes far beyond the first page. I love books uh, a lot. I think they are very helpful to learn. Tutor Kat Henning stepped in to help when teachers first identified their slow start to embracing books. She encouraged the girls to keep trying and to keep reading. Now, fantastic job. Adiana, you are a fantastic job. So perfect. The girls put their skills to work, teaching a new round of kindergartners to read. Down, down, down. Oh, oh, oh. It's a fairy tale ending Adiana's mom never saw coming. Now that she's progressed into reading, you know, that's a thumbs up for me. The bear drives drive to a boat. Very good to start reading now. That way in the future, reading will not be a hard task to do. The train chokes away. Choo-choo. He jumps into a car and off he goes. She's helping them come up right along behind her and I am very proud to see that out of her. I feel like a teacher when I do it. They're sharing the power words have in their own lives. Work hard. Don't give up on reading. And inspiring others to turn words from a daunting task. And he takes the bear home. Into a beautiful story. In Macon, Courtney Jacobazzi, 13 WMAZ News. Isn't that such a great story? Now, the Read to Succeed program is in its third year at Brookdale, and Adiana and Micaiah read to the kindergartners at least once a week, and today they'll have a little bit of help. There are about 500 volunteers from all throughout Central Georgia who will be reading to kids today as part of Read for the Record, but